Semen retention, body gains, and reverse aging, man. Yes, reverse aging. That's what I want to talk about. But first, oatmeal. When you wake up in the morning and if you want to eat something, let it be oatmeal, man. It's the perfect meal for waking up and breaking that fast. It keep you full all day. It do something to your blood sugar. I don't know what it do. It do stuff for your heart. I don't know. Go research it. It's good for your heart. It keeps you full. It keeps the cravings down. Oatmeal is like a magical food. I see why they used to always eat oatmeal on good times. Thelma didn't know how to make the oatmeal, man. But they always used to eat the oatmeal. Because why? Because it keeps you full. And tapeworms don't like oatmeal, man. Tapeworms don't like oatmeal. After the oatmeal, bam. So it's time for this. The fish oil, man. The fish oil is the bomb. I take the fish oil. This kind, this kind right here, this tastes, it don't taste like fish oil at all. Or it doesn't give you the smell. It tastes like lemon. I usually, I usually do the um, cod liver oil, but they didn't have any. So I had to get the fish oil. You hear what I'm saying? The fish oil, the omegas is good for the skin also. It gives you that glow, man. It's good for the joints and stuff. I do like thousands of push-ups. I do pull-ups and stuff. And without the omegas, without the fish oils and stuff like that, then I start getting like stiff. I'm picturing like a a, a tin man that needs some oil and stuff like skirt, skirt. Like you just skirt, 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 skirt. But the main thing is it's the skin. It make you just feel like smooth. I like rubbing my own damn skin, man. Skin is the is the body's biggest organ and omegas omegas help with that organ. This has anchovies, sardines, and mackerel. It also has rosemary extract with some lemon. And you take one teaspoon once or twice daily. I take it twice daily. Uh, if I'm not doing this, I'm doing the olive oil. I get compliments on my skin. Put the olive oil on your skin, the aloe vera on your skin. One of the main things we have to focus on with this body game is the digestive system because it's the second brain, man. It's a brain inside of you right here. Now you see why Crane, the brain on the Ninja Turtles, is inside that big body. And he right here, he not like right here inside that big body. He right here inside that big body because this is the brain that we don't we don't pay attention to. A healthy digestive system is like 50 more years on your life, man. I don't care how much exercise you do, how much running you do, and all of that. If your digestive system is out of whack, then you you on the road to diseases, man. Ulcers, constipation, all, all different things like that lead to bigger things, especially the inflammation of the intestines, which has caused a lot. Buy these protein drinks, man. The majority of melanated people, the majority, some people say the majority of damn humans, is lactose intolerant. And it makes sense. What the hell are we going to be drinking something that comes out of a big animal and it's meant to feed the baby? You hear what I'm saying? Of that animal. I know this might sound weird, but if we was to drink milk, right? Say that we had dairy and it was cool and all that. Wouldn't it make sense to drink our own milk, like like breast milk uh, ice cream and stuff? Breast milk yogurt? 
A good cup of breast milk? Yeah, man. Breast milk is good. I'm not going to tell you. See, I got six six children, right? And I done did all types of experiments. Yeah, it was a time that I was drinking the sweet, sweet breast milk, man. Yeah, I drank it. Then I stopped drinking it. I didn't drink it for like a long, 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 long time. I like tasted it during sexual encounters. And then I was like, mm, I see why the babies like it. And it don't taste nothing like no damn milk from a damn cow, man. I'm not saying go out there and get the drinking the breast milk. But if you do want some milk, wouldn't that be like better because it's made for humans, for humans, by humans. For humans, by humans. Yeah. Cow milk is for, for cows, from cows, for cows. You know what I'm saying. The digestive system can't digest all of them fats and all of that sugar and all of that type of stuff that the baby cow with like 17, don't they got like 20 stomachs or something? You ain't even got but like one stomach and you trying to digest some damn protein drinks, man. Yeah, you're going to be looking t tough and buff on the outside, man. But your shit going to be stinking, going to be constipated, man. I didn't drunk all of the optimum nutritions and all of the top of the line stuff. And I never had the deep six pack. I never had the energy and all of that that I had. You know what I'm saying? Without eating it, I base my proteins on lean meats, the leanest as possible. Mixed with this, mixed with teas, mixed with all of that. The digestive system. Now, there's a bodybuilder named Dexter Jackson, and he had some of the coldest obliques that I've ever seen. He bodybuilded and competed damn near to he was like 116 years old, man. <laughs> no, Dexter Jackson was like, how old was he, like 50? I think he was like 50, man, and he still was looking good. And I'm listening and they like, hey, Dexter, man, this is what everybody want to know. How did you get your abs always to be shredded and tight like that? And he said, probiotics. I thought he was going to say some type of exercise routine or something like that. He said that he got some good probiotics. This is what got me on the kimchi and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I take the natural probiotics. I just eat kimchi with a lot of different things. And no, I don't be smelling like kimchi, man. But I might, I might smell like kimchi. I, I might, but my gut, my gut, I ain't farting and stuff. If you farting, if you constipated, anything like that, any irritable bowel syndrome, you 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 on you on the road to being old and sick and shit, man. A lot of diseases start in the gut, and a lot of diseases start with inflammation, man. Now you got inflammation in the gut. I'm not gonna even be able to absorb all of the creatines, all of the vitamins. And all of that that you will take. You will be like wasting your money if your gut isn't in shape, in tip-top shape. I'm talking about your intestines and all of that up in the inside. If it ain't in good shape and it has yeast, candida, all of this stuff, it has all type of waste and all that, plus inflammation, probably got a little bitty ulcer over here that you don't even know about. That's not good, man. I, I damn forgot what I was the point that I was making, but look, that's 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 not good. It's not good, man. When you clear your gut out, then you will be able to absorb. Oh, that's what I was saying. If you got all of that stuff in your gut, you're not going to even be able to absorb the creatine. Like you will be able to absorb it if you didn't have all, if you had a healthy gut, you would be able to absorb all of the vitamins in the spinach versus if you don't have a healthy gut, 
you don't even absorb all of that. That's why they put black pepper in a lot of these things and a lot of these vitamins and, and supplements and stuff so that you could absorb things because black pepper help you absorb these different, you know, these different vitamins and minerals. So if your gut isn't, you know, isn't in line and healthy and stuff like that, you won't even be able to absorb all of the stuff. You'll be able, you'll only be uh, only absorbing like 20, 20% of an apple and the rest of it would just be thrown into waste and stuff like that because you can't even absorb it. You hear what I'm saying? That what that's what the video is about. I thought I was gonna talk about Bushwick Bill, man. Oh, on oh, everything. I know that sounds funny, but I'm gonna make a video about Bushwick Bill and more people because somebody wanted me to explain how all of this stuff is in the stars and it was written and how they do different sacrifices and stuff on different days and different numbers and all of this type of stuff. That's going to be the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Eat some oatmeal, man. Some oatmeal with some raisins in it. Oatmeal, raisins, a little cinnamon. Cinnamon make your breath don't stink, man, because it kills all them damn bacterias, man. You hear what I'm saying? Put some cinnamon up in there and eat it and enjoy it and imagine, you know what I'm saying, that it's the best thing in the world. Thank the most high. Eat that. Let's say you eat it like at 8 o'clock in the morning. I bet you you won't be having no cravings at 1, at one o'clock and stuff like that. And then after, and then this, the, the fat, because a lot of times, we, uh, a lot of times we get angry and stuff, the food cravings, we be craving for fat a lot of times, believe it or not. You could get, you don't got to get this. You can eat an avocado. You hear what I'm saying? And now to make you not be like moody and angry and on edge, you hear what I'm saying? While getting this body gains together. So the oatmeal, keep me full, the raisins, a little bit of natural sugar, then bam. I finish it off with this and I'm cool until probably like three o'clock in the afternoon, probably four o'clock to dinner time. Might have to remind myself to eat. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back at you with another video. Peace.